What are the real costs of using AI? My name's Ash, I'm a medical doctor, and let me share these two studies that have me seriously rethinking this exact question. The first was a study published by MIT, and this picture shows the connections our brain make when we write something. Blue lines represent weak brain connectivity, whereas red lines show stronger brain connectivity. And you can see the difference in both the strength and number of brain connections when people wrote with firstly no help, then with the help of a search engine like Google, and then finally using an LLM like ChatGPT, which showed the weakest number of brain connections. The authors of the study titled it cognitive debt, but this phenomenon has been described as many different things, from ChatGPT dependency to the death of critical thinking, or to be more blunt, just that AI is making us all stupid. But how this all plays out in the real world is even scarier. And this study was just published in The Lancet and it looked at doctors using AI to detect adenomas, so benign tumors that act as early warning for bowel cancer during colonoscopies. The study found that at first, when the technology was deployed, AI helped detect more adenomas, hence colon cancers were prevented. But after a while, once doctors had gotten used to using AI, it was then taken away. And the study found that the detection rates had dropped below their original level before people had started using AI in the first place. Doctors had become more dependent on using AI and hence worse at their jobs without it, ultimately detecting less adenomas, meaning less cancers were prevented. The real cost of AI isn't going to be losing our jobs. It's going to be losing our ability to think quietly and slowly until eventually we can't function without it. These tools give you the illusion of control while they are quietly pulling the strings, making decisions on our behalf without realizing. And by the time you notice your critical thinking is gone, it might just be too late. Follow for more breakdowns like these of studies shaping the future of health.